Hello, today we are here in Oak Park and it's, it's the 23rd of March. We are looking at the P&K requirements for winter cereals. I am here in a crop of winter wheat. The P&K index is index 3 and the crop yield potential is 10 tonnes per hectare. This crop has a P&K requirement of 38 kilograms of P and 100 kilograms of potassium. The fertilizer of choice for this crop is a 10720. The application rate is 525 kilograms per hectare or four and a quarter bags per acre. On a P and K index two, there is a higher P and K requirement because of the additional P and K for buildup and the requirement on an index two is 48 kilograms of P and 150, 50, 115 kilograms of K per hectare. The product of choice in this situation is a 12820 and the application rate is 555 kilograms per hectare or four and a half bags to the acre. On index one soils, which are very deficient in P and K, a low P and K supply, the requirement is 58 kilograms of P and 130 kilograms of potassium. The product of choice here is a 101020. The application rate is 555 kilograms per hectare or four and a half bags per acre. Also at this time of the year, it is important to check soil trace elements, such as manganese, copper, and zinc. Manganese tends to be the most widespread trace element deficiency, especially on lighter soils, and also soils that have received lime in the last year or two. Trace elements can be applied as part of the fertilizer program or applied as foliar sprays where there is a known deficiency. Ideally, trace elements should be applied by growth stage 30-31 of the crop.